gorging on the castle's unending supply of tortured souls, the undead queen calls to her service the corpses, skeletons, and spirits of the deaths. If a prisoner should fall at the hands of her inexhaustible armies, all that awaits is an eternity of agonizing undeath. Well, here we are again, trying to escape the dark castle. Once again, I am so far two for two, two failures still in this godforsaken castle. Uh, but we don't have to worry about the cult of the Death Knight this time. This time we've got some assistance. We have got some companion characters which may or may not come into play as we're playing here. There's the Witch Hunter, the Spirit of the First Prisoner, and the Defecting Guard. So these guys might come in to help us. They might not. Uh, this stack of uh, cards here have been left in the order that they, uh, they came in. So this is a standard narrative that you will get if you want to play this the first time. Um... Most of the times you just shuffle these up, but I've just gone with, let's just see how it unfolds according to the book. So the main boss of this is, of course, the Undead Queen. So let's see if we can get to her. As always, we start off with a lovely, uh, a lovely thing to do here. I'm going to shuffle, uh, shuffle this deck, though, first, just to ensure that I've got everything uh, in Okay, so let's start. So we have the Miller over here, and we have the Abbot. Let's find the Abbot's dice. There we go. Cool. So the Miller's pretty good at cunning, okay at fighting, and not very good at wisdom. The Abbot is very wise, okay at fighting, but not very good at cunning. So hopefully they'll even each other out. We shall see. So let's begin as always. After years of incarceration in the depths of the dark castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stone room adjoining the cell box stands an open wooden chest. The lock is open. Draw an item card per player now. So, we find some distilled wisdom, and we find a partially rotten apple. So, we're going to put this over here. So, you discard to apply a single wisdom at any time, and a partially rotten apple will uh, restore one hit point to your character. You hear footsteps approaching. You must not linger here. You make for the exit, slipping away and disappearing into the darkness. Straight away. As you feel your way along the lightless passage, a faint whispering sound reaches your ears. It is a single word hissed bitterly over and over. Mine, mine, mine. The sound grows closer at a rapid rate, becoming a scream as a clawed hand is thrust toward you from the darkness. Mine, you must choose an option. Uh, now, I didn't actually state who was doing this, but I reckon the Miller's going first. Uh, you can flee. Um, or we can fight. And you know what? We're going to fight from the offset. Let's do this. So we've got to use our cunning and our cunning and some wisdom. So let's see if our guys can do this in one shot. That'd be really nice. So we, the Abbot did two fists. The Miller got uh, got rid of one of those. Uh, Miller takes one damage, but the Abbot is protected. We're going in again. So we got uh, two Wisdom, and we got uh, Might. We just need one Perception now, one Cunning even. Oh, the Miller is not doing too well at this point. Miller, we, we're just gonna keep going. Come on. Yes, we did it. It's actually the abbot who managed to use the cunning in the end. So uh, that's gone. We defeated her and we find a partially rotten apple. So uh, we're going to eat this apple straight away to get back uh, health. So the abbot this time. Half concealed in the gloom ahead, a hooded man is crouched, examining something just out of sight. He notices you, hisses a curse, and suddenly unleashes spiked projectile from his sling. It strikes your brow and you fall dazed to the stone floor. You lose a hit point. You are helped to your feet, and upon reaching the spot where the figure stood, you find a stone tomb forced open. The grave robber has fled, but you appear to have interrupted him before he could collect his spoils. Draw an item card. Stale loaf of bread. Discard to restore two hit points to your character. 
Well, we're going to eat this partially rotten apple to get that health back that we had just lost. And then we will continue. And this time the miller's going to go first. This passage is littered with scraps of rotting flesh, torn clothing and human bones. Before long, you arrive at the source of it, a snarling bone beast claws at the ground, shaping to pounce. As a group, choose one option, then begin combat. So we are going to try to bait it and strike it, strike on the counter. So we need uh, a might, a cunning, and a wisdom and a cunning. So we're both going in for this. Right, so the abbots got this, and the miller got that. We both have one damage. We just need some cunning now. And we did it! Cutting each. Let's see what we find. Event companion! Oh, we've got a companion! Around the next corner, a well-armoured man sits idly, cleaning flesh from a skull. The scraping sound sends a shiver down your spine. He eyes you coolly for a moment before speaking. Lost, are you? Hmm. You'll soon learn to embrace it. The witch hunter has joined your group. So the Witch Hunter, we get to include his dice in this, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Witch Hunter will allow you to store up to two items in his pack. These items can be accessed only at the end of a chapter or whenever new item cards are being drawn. He has a special ability. Leave this to me. Uh, he also has five hit points when we need to get in. And he's pretty good at fighting. So uh, let's continue. So we're going to have the Miller go first. In this foul-smelling passage, rotten and mutilated corpses are beginning to force their way up through the floorboards. They reach out for you with an unnatural lust glowing in the hollows of their skulls. There is an opportunity to dash past one at a time before more corpses arise. Each player in turn must roll their character die along with two chapter dice. After rolling, a player loses two hit points for each chapter die they rolled, which matches their character die. If a player rolls a double or rolls no matches, they make it through unscathed. So the middle is going to go first. Oh, and the middle loses two hit points. The abbot goes next. Oh, wait, it was the shields. So he's grand. But unfortunately, the abbot does take two damage. And then the witcher also is part of this. But the witcher is obviously uh, better skilled than us, so managed to leap past unscathed. I rise again, ever to harvest souls for the armies of my queen. Begin combat. The first time the resurrected king is defeated, draw an item card as normal, and then reinsert this chapter card into the castle deck, face down on top of the boss card. You will encounter him again. After defeating the resurrected king, the second time he is permanently vanquished. So we've got to worry about some wisdom, and we're rolling two dice. Two wisdom and a cunning. We got this, guys. We got this. Okay, so the abbot got a uh, wisdom. The miller got a cunning. And then, uh, leave this to me. The witch hunter calls out, save yourselves, and launches himself at the enemy. You waste no time in fleeing the chamber, the sound of his furious demise fading behind you. The current chapter ends immediately and without further effect. Discard this companion card and its corresponding event card, along with any items his companion was carrying. Oh, why? Well, at least he helped us get through, but... At what cost? A cracked axe. It's two-handed, so we're going to give this over here. Uh, the miller's going to drink this distill. No, nope. miller's going to pass it over. The abbot's going to eat his food to get him two hit points back. And we go to the next area. 
All who wish to reach their goal must pass inspection of the soul. To pass through the gatekeeper's archway, each player must choose one option. Open your soul to the gatekeeper. Try to roll wisdom in one attempt. Success, you're permitted to pass, gain a hit point. Feather, your soul is found wanting, lose two hit point. Or you can pay in blood as punishment for your cowardice, you lose one hit point. Smearing your blood upon the archway, stone to pass. Oh, let's go for it. So the abbot got wisdom. No, that did not. So two hit points there. Uh, but the, middle, the abbot gains one hit point. Back into combat. You hear the sound of clattering hooves growing closer. Only when the sound is almost upon you does the horseman materialize, galloping furiously. Weapon drawn, back to strike. You must try to roll cunning or a double in one attempt. Cunning. You act quickly and roll to one side, begin combat. So, this guy wants some fisticuffs, you want some cunning, and a lot of wisdom. So, let's just go straight at this guy. Okay, so the miller got two cunning, and we got three wisdom overall there. So, the two wisdom are gone, the cunning is gone, and we block the attack that he's doing. Just need might now. Okay, so the abbot is going to be taking some damage. The miller is not, so that's two hit points. All the might that you could ever need, he's gone. And we find liquid luck, discard to reroll your character die, applying only the second result. To, con to continue here, you must first scale a crumbling wall of bone. As a group, agree upon a climbing order, first to last, and then roll your character dice simultaneously. Next, in climbing order, check each dice. If a player has rolled might or double, they have succeeded. If the first climber succeeds, they make it safe to the top. If any other climber succeeds, they cling to the wall, ready to catch any number of falling players from above. If any climber fails, they fall unless a climber below them succeeds catching them. So, Miller's going to go first. Double. Abbott. Fails there. Uh, he's going to use his liquid luck quickly. Try to come back from that. He doesn't. Um, so he hits one hit point. We've got to keep going until all players reach the top. So we've got a mite. He gets up. Excellent. Next. A host of cursed spirits is gloomily carrying out the endless procession to which they have been damned. Clear your minds to avoid detection. All players must roll their character die simultaneously once. And no wisdom must be rolled. No wisdom was rolled. If any player rolls wisdom, the spirits detect your presence and silent converge your attack. Otherwise, turn the next chapter card. So you avoided them. The passage ahead is suddenly illuminated by a gentle, fluttering apparition. For a moment, you feel a deep sense of calm as you watch it swirl and tumble through the air, beckoning you. As you watch, it reaches out, gesturing repeatedly to a section of the old stone wall. As you draw near, the apparition withdraws, fading away as your ears fill with the loving whispers of long-lost loved ones. Breaking from the reverie, you hurry forward. In a crevice hidden in the shadows of a gated arch, you find a concealed stash. Two item cards. Liquid luck. Two lots of liquid luck. Oh, it's a shame. I have to chuck one of these because I've got a two-handed weapon there. So, Okay, and then we move on to... Here, a nameless prisoner has been set alight and left to burn at the stake. As the smell of melting flesh fills your nostrils, you witness his spirit exiting his body. You notice a sack has been thrown near the fire, but is not yet fully consumed by the flames. As a group, choose one option. Move on. This is no place to medal. Turn to the next chapter card. Retrieve it. Nominate a player to try to roll wisdom with one attempt. Um, do you know what? We're going to get the abbot to give it a go. And that's the miller's dice. <laughs> Okay, so 
We can discard to apply a single wisdom at any time, so we're going to do that. We succeed, we get two items. Okay, so let's have a look at health here. So we're going to eat stale lo loaf of bread straight away to give two hit points back to our miller. And we're going to eat the partially rotten apple for the abbot. Uh, the abbot's going first. You are set upon by a horde of reanimated skeleton warriors. You become separated and each player must fight alone. Roll a chapter nine in front of each player to represent the skeleton attacking them. However, the skeletons can sense weakness. Players with less than half of their starting hit point must roll two chapter dice instead of one. I'm doing really well at the moment. So, uh, the Miller and the Abbot. Okay, so. We'll get rid of that. And we get rid of that, easily done. We find some an apples, so we're going to hold on to that for the moment. The passage is blocked by a portcullis. Two complex systems of gears and levers must be manipulated in perfect unison to open the way. Nominate two players to reach deep into the workings of the perilous mechanism and place an item card face down in front of each. They must make simultaneous rolls and after each roll must, if possible, place a chapter die showing the trait they rolled onto a corresponding vacant space of their card. On a double that player must place a chapter die of their choice. After each roll, if there are more dice on one card than the other, the mechanism is imbalanced and the player with fewer dice Place loses one hit point. So I've got to roll two dice. The Miller got that, the Abba got that. I'm not quite sure how many cards, uh, how many. Um, so I'm not quite sure about this card. So I've got to make simultaneous rolls, which I've just done. So I've got the eye and I've got the wisdom. On a double, that player must place a chapter die of their choice. When both cards are filled, the mechanism is released and the portcullis opens. Now, does that mean I've got to get... I'm gonna go for three rolls for this. I'm not quite sure what I should do here, guys. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm confused by this card. Um, so, so I've got to put this, this on there. Oh, okay. So I've got an eye there. I've got that there. Right. Okay. So it makes sense. So on all these cards, you've got a, a might, a cunning and a wisdom. So I think I have to fill those up. So let's carry on. So the abbot got a fist, and I got a fist here, um, which I'm going to change that fist to a wisdom, because I'm allowed to do that. This has to be a fist. The abbot got a wisdom. The miller got, uh, it could be anything, so we could put a fist on there. The abbot can't place anything, so the abbot loses a hit point. And then the abbot places a cutting. I wasn't sure about that, but I think that's how I was supposed to do it. Luckily, I've got past that. Miller's going to eat his apple quickly to get that health that he lost back. Miller's going first. This vast chamber rises high into the darkness above. There, a player of blood-red eyes pierces the black, slowly descending. The creature lands before you, a trace of spectral smoke rising from its bony nostrils. As a group, choose one option, then begin combat. Rush the dragon to deny it flight, or time your strikes carefully as it swoops. Um, let's rush it. Let's try and be daring. At the moment, we're doing all right, so I, I'm not too concerned with this. He's going to be doing three damage each round, though, so hopefully we can sort him out. Okay, we've got two fists, which was from Miller. The Abbot got a cunning. 
Uh, we're going to discard to reroll your character dice. And we've done it. We took them out in one swoop and some liquid luck to replace the liquid luck we just drank. Near the end now, guys. Uh, the towering reanimated corpse of a cyclopean cyclopean giant lumbers towards you. An enormous boulder raised above his head. The brute is slow and can be outrun. To dodge past, all players must simultaneously endure his three attacks. So, all players must try to roll wisdom or, or a double in one attempt. Abbott did it. Miller did not. So, lose one hit point. The stamp. Got to do cunning. Miller does it. Abbott does not. And then a swipe. All players must try to roll might or double in one attempt. And they both fail with that. Okay, and we're back. It's the I rise again, never to harvest souls for the armies of my queen. Um, right, so let's fight him again. He's got a wisdom. We got two dice. Need all the wisdom to outthink this guy. Let's take him out. Oh, that was a wisdom. We got two wisdoms and a might. So those go. We both take a damage each. One more wisdom. We've done it. We've done it. See you in hell. And we find the replication stones. Whenever you roll a single, it counts as two singles of that trait. This is it. You will reach the final challenge. One last obstacle stands between you and freedom. The Undead Queen. Woo. So die so your soul can be mine to torture for all eternity. Chapter dice removed from the Queen. Each round must be rolled and added to a pool. At the beginning of each new round, for every pair of dice in the pool that match, discard one die and put the other into play as a spirit. At least one player must attack the queen each round, but the other players may choose to attack spirits instead. The queen and spirits only attack the players attacking them. If no one is attacking a spirit, it attacks all players. The queen and all spirits must be defeated. Begin combat. Okay, so we need two wisdom. We need a cunning. We need a might. And we also need... this so that's what we're looking at i'm not too worried about this if i'm honest so the abbot's going to roll first um and he's going to the re replication stones means that that actually counts as two so that's two of these gone and then the miller is attacking and got rid of the last one so They go into the dice pool over here. We take three damage each. It's the beginning of a new round. So uh, for every pair of dice in the pool that match, discard one die and put the other into play as a spirit. So we have a spirit here, which we've got to also take out. Um, so we're going to have the Miller try to attack the Queen, and we're going to have the liquid, we're going to have Abbott, we're going to try and attack the Spirit. So and the Abbott, so the Abbott defeats this, that is gone. And this isn't added back to the pool, so that's out the game now. Uh, the might goes into there. We still got cunning, so we both take three damage. Right, let's do this. Okay, so we have killed the queen. We've done it. Holy shish kebab. We've managed to do it because uh, at the start of the... There won't be another round because... All spirits are dead, and the queen is dead. I kind of feel like we should do one more round with, with the spirits. There's one spirit out, this one's gone. These guys will never produce spirits, so they're gone. So we have one spirit left. 
and the miller does it. So guys, we've managed to escape the dark castle.